going to talk about PMPC, that's our public money, public code campaign, and I approached some administrations. First of all, I want to explain why we need this. But imagine the convention of a, of a nuclear strike, okay? We have the president in charge, who is then commanding towards the Secretary of Defense. Now, think about it. Well, we all, they use software, they use critical software, for example, for the red button. What would be if an engineer who's a bit evil installed the red button and could actually trigger a nuclear strike? That would be very painful, and we don't want that. We want people to be in control who we elect them to. So, we want them to be in control over the software. That's the first aim of the PMPC. In order to establish trustworthy systems, public bodies must ensure they have full control over the software and the computer systems at the core of our state digital infrastructure. So what does this mean further? Public, uh, public money, public code is not only about taking back control, it's also about modernizing our IT infrastructure in the administrations, in the public administration, using free software as a standard, and by this, it gives back the benefits that are already written here. Collaboration, serving the public, tax savings, and fostering innovations. Collaborations can be done on huge projects with other communities, for example, on saving costs. I'm going to talk about Micro G, like what it is now and what we're going to do with it in uh, the next months to years. So, um, first of all, I wanted to know, um, like, who of you actually knows what MicroG is? And it can also be done by fostering innovation because not everybody needs to reinvent the wheel and you can go further on the things that are already invented. So that's in short the aims of public money, public code and benefits. I know it's a really brief overview because I actually want to talk about administrations because we have an open letter and with this open letter we try to approach the public and the public, <laughs> so far we have 26,000 signatures from individuals, we have nearly 200 NGOs who already signed it and we have three administrations. The <laughs> now the first one is really difficult for me because I can't speak any Spanish. It's the Parliament of Asturias, I hope it pronounced it properly. <laughs> Then Samtgemeinde Altmarsch, that's in the north of Germany, and Anjunta de Barcelona, that are the three administrations that signed the open letter so far. So we want more of them. But how to do this? How do we approach administrations to sign the open letter? Well, we want them not only to sign the open letter, we also want them to implement public, like free software in the public infrastructure. But how to do this? There are different ways. Oh, sorry, I forgot the slide. I have to reconsider this one. <laughs> First of all, we have to make sure to define what um, administrations are. Well, an administration could be a hospital, schools, or university, or any public administrations that use public money that's given by the people for infrastructure, for software infrastructure. That's the important thing here. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot the slide. Well, that's basically who we're going to try to, to reach out to. Yes, we, as me and Alexander Sander, who did this with me, decided to reach out to mayors, like the municipal utilities or the governments. That are also administrations you could reach out to. We did this by <laughs> writing an open letter and we um, wrote this letter to mayors or any other public figure, as I already said. And you can also do this to another head of administration, for example, to the head of the IT department. Anybody who is in charge, you can write this open, you can write a letter to. So, first of all, to write this letter, we gather some information. You can do this in a different way. For example, we looked into basic programs, what they said about free software or the party statements, or if they have any personal connection with free software, you can also try and find information if they are really for open government, open data, or open standards. That would all be really helpful to write a letter to the administrations because then you have some information by the, how to approach them and to have suitable arguments for them to 
<laughs> convince them that they should sign the open letter for the PMPC. Yes. So that's an example of an open letter that we did. <laughs> I know it's really small and you can't probably read it properly, but we also have this on our wiki page, which I'm going to show you the link later. <laughs> and there you, you find more information about how to write this letter as well. So now, as I already said, we need, <laughs> we need your help because I can't approach all of the public figures out there in Europe. There's just so many and I can't do it because, first of all, <laughs> it's really good if somebody from the community is also involved in this and it's a community project, PMPC, it's not only the FSFE staff who is doing this, it's a community thing, so we need your help and we want you to join in. Yeah, send a lot letter to your local administration, as I already said, an administration could be anything, it could also be the hospital or the school or the university that you attend. And you find more information on the wiki fsfe.org page under activities and contacting administrations for PMPC. I know it's a really long lane, <laughs> but I assure you, you find it on the wiki page. <laughs> yes. And then if you decide to join in and if you decide to reach out to the public administrations in your community or in your town or city, don't be frustrated if you do not get an answer immediately because they need some time <laughs> to answer sometimes because the minds of the politics grind slowly. <laughs> and please do not be frustrated. If you have any questions on how to follow up, for example, or if you should already do a follow up, you can of course contact us at contact.fsfe.org and we will be happy to provide any help we can. Yes, and now I try to, to approach you to get active and turn in the fun. <laughs>